Hello everyone, today we're in the temperature versus heat packet uh, part one and we're going to head down and look at the factors that affect heat. Today the factor we are looking at is mass. There are two parts, both have the same materials needed. First part, we're going to have 2,000 milliliters of water. You need a metal pan or a beaker, we're going to be using a pan today. 2,000 milliliters of hot tap water. Uh, we're going to need a scoop of ice. Okay, we're going to use a small uh, 50 milliliter beaker just to help us with that scoop to keep it standard. And we will need a thermometer. Uh, for the second part, it's the same process except we'll be using 500 milliliters of hot water uh, as the only variable. Step one, fill a beaker with 2,000 milliliters of hot tap water. This does not have to be exact. We're going to get it as close as possible because if it was exact, we wouldn't be using a beaker. We would be using a graduated cylinder or a volumetric flask or something similar, but a pretty good job right at 2,000. Step two, fill a pan with this hot water. Take its temperature. temperature in Celsius, because we always use Celsius in here, is reading 38. I've got a beaker full of ice. I'm now going to take a 50 milliliter scoop, small 50 milliliter beaker. I'm going to take a 50 milliliter scoop of ice. All we're doing is just filling that beaker with ice. Then I add that ice to my hot water. And I'm going to stir that with my thermometer until all the ice is melted. Once all the ice is melted, I take the temperature again. I then repeat this step for five total trials. Part two of the lab, we'll now conduct the same experiment. Uh, instead of using 2,000 milliliters of water, now we're just going to use 500 milliliters of hot water. 500 milliliters of hot water. Take the initial temperature. Record that. Add a 50 milliliter scoop of ice. Stir till melted. Take the temperature. Thus concludes part two of the experiment. 